All right, good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's uh, CMA webinar. Hope everyone is doing good. Uh, hope you can hear me, see me, see my screen. All good on that front. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for taking our time and attend uh, today's CMA webinar. But I hope you can hear me, see me, see my screen. Uh, you can type it on the chat box if yes, or you can raise your hand. I'll understand that you can hear me. All right, fantastic. Thank you so much, Mr. Ashish. All right, let's get going. So uh, what I'll do is I'll introduce you to the CMA program. And uh, I will also basically let you know the Kaplan services with respect to the program. And then uh, I will also let you know, which is why you are here, that how can you pass the CMA exam in the first attempt? So that's pretty much the agenda for the day. But before that, let me introduce myself. Uh, well, I'm Shiv Mehta. Uh, I'm a CFA charter holder and a certified management accountant. I'm also a certified financial planner. I've been teaching CMA, CFA, and various finance courses for the past uh, 11 years now. I've also had my share of industry experience across finance verticals, such as uh, financial planning, uh, credit analysis, equity research, in, uh, you know, private equity, and uh, you know, I did mainly equity research with Deutsche Bank, and uh, that's pretty much my experience. I've also taught at various corporates like Adia and Adnoc in the past. I've also recently uh, uh, taught at uh, a big sovereign wealth fund in Saudi as well. Uh, so that's pretty much my experience, uh, and uh, I will introduce to my. Uh, I will introduce you to the other trainers as well. I will uh, introduce you to the CMA program. <clears throat> So uh, let me first introduce our firm uh, where we are at Kaplan. Uh, so Kaplan Professional Middle East. We are a part of Kaplan Group and uh, this is an education arm of a Fortune 500 company. We have been there in the education industry for the past 80 years. We train or we give education services to colleges, universities, businesses, including higher education programs and professional training uh, and certifications. At Kaplan Professional Middle East, we are a team of six full-time CMA trainers, and that is more than anybody in the industry who will ensure that your CMA journey is a smooth sail. Well, our cumulative experience is more than 80 years, and uh, that is, uh, I mean, that a team uh, which is, I mean, so we are basically, this is the biggest team in uh, the GCC region. Right, so this is what we have. Apart from this, Kaplan, uh, has been training delegates worldwide. So we have trained over 1 million plus delegates. We, are, we have 100, 1,000 plus education partners. We train in more than 1,000 plus languages across the world. So that's pretty much about uh, our company. And this is our team of trainers. And I said, uh, we have more than cumulative experience of 80 years. So you already know me. Uh, we have Mr. Hatem, who has been training CMA for the past 15 years. We have Mr. Yasser, who gained uh, more than 15 years of experience training candidates on CMA, CFA. Uh, we have uh, Ms. Sana over here, who has also been training CMA candidates for the past five years. Uh, Mr. Shannon, Mr. Bilal, again, more than 10 years of work ex, uh, of teaching CMA and including CFA as well. Uh, Mr. Bilal is an all-rounder, as you could see. He has done CPAs, ACCA, so he trains candidates across uh, all the financial qualifications that is possibly there in finance. So that's our team. Uh, and this team is available full-time with you. So what that means is, anytime you have any doubts, these guys will be available for you. All you have to do is just post it on a WhatsApp group, post your question on the WhatsApp group, and all of us will be available with you. So that's the kind of team you will be uh, working with uh, in order to pass your CMA exam. The next thing is I will introduce you to the agenda. So this is the agenda for today's webinar. We are first going to introduce you to the CMA qualification. Then I will let you know how to attain the CMA qualification. And then while you are here, we want to learn about how to pass the CMA exam in the first attempt. And then we will also introduce you to the Kaplan CMA training solutions and 
excellence program an excellence program is something that you should hear from me because that was very very important then i will open uh, the chat box for you so that you can answer so that you can ask your questions and uh, me and my team would be happy to answer them right so this is uh, the agenda so first thing what is cma qualification now us cma designation that you will achieve this is first of all this qualification is none of is none like the other qualifications where you will take 3 years so think of cfa it takes approximately 3 years to complete cfa acca you again will take 2 or 3 years to complete it cpa again 2 years to complete it but us cma can be completed in one single year in fact if uh, you are a student only you can complete it in one window itself if you can work hard you can complete it in one window and uh, if you complete it in one window you will be eligible for an award from the ima which is a certified body uh, basically this is the body which gives you the cma certification right so that's that's a possibility so this is the usp of you can say us cma it can be completed very very fast and it's basically a globally uh, global or rather i would say gold standard in management accounting so this gives you significant expertise in strategic management and financial accounting uh, the cmas actually work and i will introduce you to it cmas actually work in a very very important positions in any organization any organization requires a finance department and there you will find a cma so it builds your proficiency in financial accounting by adding management skills that aid in the strategic business decisions so i will speak about that so this is what the cma is it's a globally recognized credential it focuses on critical skills which are used in any business for that matter and leading employers need cmas in the key management roles because they are the people who will help the ceo cfos with the strategies and in fact you can be in the cfo position as well if you become a cma certified there is a flexible exam which is offered in hundreds of locations worldwide well that's an old news now why is because now you can give the cma exam from the comfort of your home cma exam is done on a app called as prometric app and you can do that remotely from your comfort of home all you have to do is you need an empty table you need a computer and you are all good to go and then what you will also get is which the qualification gives you is an access to a global member network and this global member network is 125000 cma certified candidates members so that is the access that you will have uh, when you do cma well what is what difference does it create for you well the difference is in the numbers cmas earn 63% more salary as compared to non cmas in the same positions and what are these positions i'm going to speak about that as well so 63% more salary and anybody of us why are we earning these qualifications we are earning these qualifications because we want to earn better money obviously we want job satisfaction which comes from the fact that you will be working closer to the management but at the same time this gives you a higher salary as well so as you could see in all the regions americas asia europe middle east africa india everywhere cmas earn a higher salary as compared to the non cmas it's basically 100 or rather 31% more in americas 29% more in asia 32% more in europe and then a whopping 102% more that is double the salary in middle east so that's how it is the cmas are valued here in the gcc region and these numbers are actual numbers this has come from the ima body itself and what we have is uh, these cmas will hold positions like director positions cfo positions finance manager positions so these job titles more cmas are preferred and these are the kind of positions you are going to get into when you become a cma you could become a financial manager 
of any company for that matter. You could be a finance manager of Apple. You could be a finance manager of Adeno. So you're not limited to any industry, but you will be working in the finance department, which each and every company has, right? So you can become a finance manager in that company, financial analyst in that company, financial risk manager in that company, financial controller in that company, cost accountant in that company, CFO of that company. How does that sound? Obviously CFOs earn a lot. You can also get into varied roles like data science, data analyst, business analyst. All of that will help the key management make some strategic decisions. And I'm going to give you one of the ways in which uh, CMAs make or help in uh, strategic decision making by showing you one kind of analysis when I give my demo lecture later on. So that will be one analysis which I will show you how to do it. And hey, here are the companies which hire CMAs. These are the top companies. Any small name? No, all are big names. Walmart, Adobe, Aon, Bosch, City, Disney. Are they in the one industry? No, they are in various industries. And when they are in the diverse industries, I mean, any, any uh, company would need the finance uh, personals and you will be one of them once you clear the CMA. Then you must want to know how to attain the CMA credential. What is the roadmap for you? So let me show you that. Now, this is how you become the CMA. First thing that you're going to do is enroll yourself with the IMA body, then register for the CMA exam. And when you register and enroll yourself, you kind of become a member with the Institute of Management Accountants, which is IMA. Then you have to do part one exam and part two exam. So there are two exams. Now, the good part about this exam is that you know, each of these exams can be given in any order. So you can go for part two exam first, or you could go for part one exam first. And I will help you how to make that decision, which part should you go for as well. I'm going to talk about that as well. But the idea over here is, when will these exams occur? So these exams have three windows. Jan, Feb, May, June is the window that you are going for for which the batch launch will happen soon in February. And then there is another window, which is September and October. The format of the exam is, it's a computer-based exam that you can give from your home or any of the pro metric centers that are there in Dubai or any region, wherever you are. Now it's a computer-based exam. Now it is a four hour exam consisting of 100 MCQ questions, which have to be done in the first three hours. And then in the next one hour, you will be attempting two 30 minute essay type questions. Now these essay type questions does not mean that you have to write lengthy answers. This will be these two essay type questions are, are being divided into, you know, 12 uh, sub questions where you have to write two, three liners each or maximum four lines if you have to so do some solving. So that's how you have to give the exam. I will speak about the passing score. The passing score is 72%. So if you are able to achieve around 360 as a score out of 500, then you will pass the exam. And trust me, it is definitely achievable in the first attempt if you follow the right strategy. And I'm going to speak about that strategy in a bit. Now the results of your exam does not come at the same time because the essay type questions have to be checked. It will be mailed to you in six weeks after the end of the exam. Performance reports will be available 14 days after the exam results. You will just have to log into the IMA website and you will be able to achieve the performance results. And then once you clear the part one and the part two exam, all you have to do is read some educational and work ex criteria. So you'll have, you need to have a bachelor's degree and then you'll have to demonstrate two years of relevant work experience. Now this work experience can be part-time or full-time. I will speak about the nitty gritties behind this work experience, but here you first need to know about the part one and the part two exam, what is the course material? And I will then help you select which part should you go for first. Now. CMA part one 
has a specific role. It helps in basically learning about financial planning, performance, and analytics. And the second part is all about strategic financial management. So first part, you can think of it as more inclined towards accounting and budgeting. And the second part is more inclined towards strategic financial decision making. What is the first part? First part includes external financial reporting decisions. Here you will be learning about income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement, and the nitty gritty is behind that. Then the second one is learning about planning, budgeting, and forecasting. So here you will actually learn how to build a budget for the next year. Then we have performance management. What, what do we see in performance management? Now think of it this way, that you have built a budget now, at the end of the year, you want to compare your actual numbers with the budget. And that's where we have to do the performance management. This is called as variance analysis. So when you talk about performance management, 80% of that material is about this variance analysis. Why did we not meet the revenue? Why was revenue less than what we budgeted? Why was revenue more than that we budgeted? So those are the kind of uh, understanding you will build over here. Then we have cost management. Here you will learn how does the company do costing, cost their products. Then they, there is internal controls. So how do you uh, do the internal controls in the company? So that's another idea that you are gonna have. And then this is a baby. This is the newest baby in the CMA curriculum. Technology and analytics. Now, no industry has been spared because of the uh, you know, improving technology. And similarly, even the accounting roles have evolved because the new technology keeps on coming into the picture. So that is something that has been brought in, into the curriculum in 2020, and that has been given a weightage of 15%. And again, uh, it will give you the basics of the technology that a CMA or any finance manager would have to use in a company. And that's a great addition, I would say. So you will learn about that as well. So that's about CMA part one. What about CMA part two? CMA part two is about first thing is financial statement analysis. So see how the progression goes. Here you are learning about the income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. And here you are learning how to analyze those income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. But hey, if you go for CMA part two. At Kaplan, we will also teach you income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement, the basics of it, so that you can nail this financial statement analysis topic. And this again has a whopping percentage of 20%. Then we have corporate finance decisions. So, okay, how, what are the different kinds of corporate finance decisions that you will have to deal with? How should I source funds? How should I invest funds? So, that is the kind of strategic decision making that. Uh, you will learn over here, which you can then implement in the company that you will go and work in. Then the decision analysis, should I make my own products? Should I outsource, my, uh, outsource the manufacturing of my products? So those are the kind of decision analysis you will learn how to do those kind of analysis over here in this third uh, section of part two. And this has 25% weightage, a big percentage. But again, this is the most interesting part of this whole material in CMA part two. Then there is something about the risk management that they discuss with, what are the various kinds of risks that uh, a company faces. So you will learn that over here. Then you will learn investment decisions. How does the company make long-term investment decisions? Now, if I want to go ahead with a particular project, long-term project, what are the different measures which help us in making that decision? What do we look at? So there will be some calculations over here. There will be some concepts over here, which will be discussed. Very, very interesting topic, I would say again. And then any professional, no matter whether you are a doctor, you are an investment professional, you are a management accountant, you will have to learn some professional ethics. And that again, has a 15% weightage. Again, I know it's theory, but that's something that you should be aware of. It tells you basically, it gives you a, a high level of, Bird's eye view of what kind of roles can you get into when you become a CMA. So that's the exam syllabus. Now, which exam should you go for first? 
now here you should listen to me if you have studied accounting in the past or your major is in accounting then go for part 1 first if you have been majorly good with accounting you should go with part 1 first but if your major is in finance so you've studied more of finance you should go with cma part 2 but if you have nothing of those you can still clear the cma exams in one go but then you should go with part 1 because there the foundation will be built for cma part 2 but if you have studied finance in your college or in as your as part of your mba major then go for cma part 2 that's the idea that you need to have while choosing which part to go for right then the kind of educational requirement that you need to have in order to finally finally you clear your cma part 1 and part 2 exam you need to have that educational minimum educational requirement to get the credential so that you can use it across your name so what you need is bachelor's degree from an accredited university and some of the universities are abu dhabi university university of wollongong zayed university aud and there are many actually right so we can obviously you can let me know if you need to, the list but uh, these are some of them and it's available on the ima website if it is not accredited then you have to get it evaluated then you have to get your bachelor's degree evaluated by an independent agency like ves right acca candidates if you are one of the acca candidates you will automatically qualify for the, the bare minimum educational requirement then what about the experience criteria now what you need is 2 years of work experience now even part time work experience is applicable but 2 years of part time experience will be counted as one equivalent of experience which is required to attain this credential now where do you need this experience things like if you are involved in preparation of financial statements financial planning analysis auditing budgeting forecasting risk evaluation or anything related to finance and accounting you are there you are basically you are meeting the experience criteria right so the moment you clear part 1 and part 2 exam there you go you will get your cma certification then i have already explained these parts to you exam format computer based two parts three testing windows jan feb may june september october so you will go for may june now the main point over here is you can attempt one part only once in a particular window and trust me you can definitely all of you can clear the exam in one go so there's no point of discussion on uh uh when will i be able to reattempt my exam so the focus is if you follow the right strategy i am 100% confident that you will all clear the exam in one go and i will share that strategy with you now after registration just need to ensure that you complete one part within 12 months of entering the program and you must complete both the parts within 3 years scoring and grading now the idea over here is i told you that there is 3 hours of mcqs and 1 hour of essay now out of 500 marks 75% marks which is 375 is allocated to the mcqs and then remaining 125 is allocated to the essays now the idea over here is that you need to you know score bare minimum of 50% in the mcqs so that you are eligible to give the essay exams right each question has equal weightage essay part will be graded offline so that is why 6 weeks it takes for them to give you the result and the minimum passing scale score is 360 this is a scaled score so understand if you get 340 and it's a very difficult exam the scaled score could be moved to 360 as well and if it's a very very easy exam even if you get 375 this will be moved backwards towards 360 so the easier exam that means you will score more you have to score more if it's a difficult exam do not panic keep answering the questions correctly even 340 will end up being 360 for you so it's a scale score then my friends tips to 
basically clear the exam in one go tips to clear the exam in one go first thing first you need to do is enroll yourself for the exam rather quickly now the more time you take the more time you lose now the understanding is that cma exam not only cost you in terms of money but more importantly it cost you your time so basically the focus has to be on clearing the exam in the first attempt ensure that you enroll yourself for the exam quickly but what this does is it brings the skin in the game and you will then be able to focus on the study material from the first class itself now i have taught this exam for 9 years and i have seen candidates delaying the exam registration and are not as serious as they should be initially what that means is they lose some uh, you know important time what you have to do is follow a proper study plan stick to the study plan and what that does is you will from the day one onwards you are focusing on the material now i'm not asking you to study every day for 4 hours each what i want you to give is be consistent in your study plan and i will basically share a study plan with you which kaplan suggests you should follow now here is that study plan i've built it in excel here you are so here is how the kpme or kaplan will cover the material with you so this is for part 1 we have the same thing for part 2 as well so here is when your sessions will start okay on 5th february you will have your first session and we will have around 12 sessions for you 4 hours each and here i have laid it down that what all things you will cover in that particular section now think of it this way session 1 you will be covering these two topics and then i expect you to start studying on your own as well so if you have studied in session 1 basics of financial statements and the topic 1 of section a which is external financial reporting analysis this is financial statements then what i want you to do is go to your self study plan here the kpme session was done which is explained in the last uh, slide now from 6th february onwards till 11th february you have time to self study now each day has been broken down into what you have to study on that particular day now see over here i do not expect you to study 4 hours a day or a 3 hours a day i expect you to study only 1 hour a day now this is cumulative now think of it this way if you are not a person if you do not have time if you are a working professional you may not find that one hour also on a daily basis but cumulatively can you give let's say almost 8 hours in this particular week yes you can you can maybe spend let's say 4 hours on a weekend let's say on friday for example because saturday you will have a lecture or whatever way you just have to study that 8 hours trust me you do not have to study more than 80 to 90 hours of self study that's enough for the first preparation first leg of the preparation after that you will start your revision where you would require around 30 40 hours to revise and then you are good to go for the exam this is apart from obviously the kind of lectures that we will conduct which will be 12 multiplied by 4 like 48 hours of lectures and then 16 hours of revision but apart from that all i expect you to do is spend around 100 to 120 hours of self study and you are good to go so again it's not as if you will have to study for 300 hours that's what cma recommends what that's what the ima recommends uh, that you have to study for 300 hours but really you do not have to do that if you are with a good prep provider and if you i will show you the what, the way we write our notes the way we have our notes uh, on the slides that we will uh, teach you from that slides is more than enough to go through things we will obviously tell you when you have to go through the book when you have to do that self reading that will be more or less from the theoretical subjects but every day if you can spend one one hour each that brings in consistency and that's all it is required to clear the cma exam can you do that one hour one hour 25 minutes yes you can definitely do that it's definitely manageable right even with even if you are a working professional now that's what you have to do 
make a study plan that I have done it for you. And you just need to stick to it. And that's how you will be able to clear this CMA exam in the first attempt. Also, what you need to do is take the practice test and mock exams seriously. Now, at the end of each section, we are going to give you a small little test. Now, this will be hardly 30 questions, can be done in 45 minutes to one hour. It's all online. You can do it whenever you have time. This is after every topic. So this is not after every class, after every topic. And that gives you enough practice. Apart from that, after we have completed the course and the revision, you will also be given mock exams. So please take those seriously. Definitely, if you take these seriously, if you do it diligently, then you will score really well on the exam. And again, you can pass your exam in the first attempt. Study for, this is recommended by the IMA, 250 hours. But if you, basically 250 hours is for those students who have no background. But if you have some background in accounting and finance, then this 250 hours will drastically reduce to, let's say, 150 hours. That's more than enough to clear the part one and part two exam. One more thing that I would request you to do when you study for CMA exam is get rid of distractions. Prioritize CMA as your, you know, as your proper goal. So it has to be given the priority. Get rid of distractions. Do not watch television at that time. Do not watch your phones. Do not watch Facebook, LinkedIn at that particular point in time. When you are studying for that one hour, one hour, 30 minutes or maximum two hours in that day, according to the study plan, just get rid of all the distractions. And one thing which we encourage our students to do is get their doubts cleared on a real-time basis. So if you have a doubt at any particular point in time, what you can do is you will be put in a WhatsApp group. You'll be put in a WhatsApp group. What you need to do is just post that question on that group. Unless you post it after midnight, you know, we will be able to solve those questions on a real-time basis. So we are six full-time trainers. I will again repeat that. One of them will definitely be available at that time and they will be able to solve those questions for you, solve those doubts for you on a real-time basis. Then, my friends, the main thing that you need to do is practice a lot of questions. Now, if you look at it, when I say one hour, 25 minutes over here, for this particular topic, statements of changes in equity and the balance sheet. I have already incorporated 30 minutes of practicing. So what that means is only 45 minutes, you will study the theory again. And then 30 minutes, you can do around 20, 25 questions. This is already incorporated in this time. By, by the end of it, you will see that if you follow the study plan, you have already done 2000 questions. And what that means is that is a guaranteed pass. If you are able to do those 2000 questions properly, guaranteed pass. Trust me, no force in the world can stop you from passing. So that's how you clear the CMA exam in first attempt. Then what are we offering? I've already explained most of it, but I will still uh, explain you what Kaplan CMA training solutions are and what is our excellence program. That is the key USP. You will learn that. All right, so here, the CMA training program is divided into two parts. One is called as preparation program, prep pro, and the other one is called as revision pro. Now the preparation program is around 60 plus hours of live instructor-led class. Now this is, we also include over here, personalized doubt clearing sessions. So, so think of it this way, that you can ask your doubts on a real time basis, but if you have, let's say, a lot of doubts, then you can reach out to me. I am the person who manages the CMA. You will have my number on the first day of the class. I will basically schedule a personalized doubt clearing session with one of the trainers or myself. So we will give you one extra hour of doubt clearing session whenever you want. So it could be, let's say, an afternoon on a weekday. We will be available for you for that as well. So we will be able to schedule a session for you, a doubt clearing session. Then there will be a test focused, as I said, on each topic that you study with us. Then another thing that we have recently added is the question-based day. So this is a three-hour lecture where two hours you will be doing questions and one hour 
there will be a trainer available with you who will solve all your doubts in relation to any questions that you may have then during the course we will also be solving 400 mcqs during the class as, as well and then these lectures are also recorded all these recordings will also be available with you so think of it this way you have 12 lectures to attend you have attended 11 lectures and missed out on one lecture what will you do historically you have lost it you will now not be able to see that lecture but now all these recordings will be available with you on an lms and i will show you that lms it's a i think it's a game changer because it gives you all that we discuss in the class you can again go back home go through our lecture again then we also give you class slides and even we will give you formula sheets and this study planner session this excel file will be available with you now on this excel file all you have to do is come here and here i have given you the status so here the moment you have completed this one hour of study market completed the moment you have completed the second one market completed if you are doing one thing market as whip work in progress so here it's again everything is set for you just you have to open this excel file and keep a track of what is what are the things you have to cover next what are the things you have already covered what are what is the thing that you are covering right now so this excel file is available with you we will provide you that on the first day of the class all right then after preparation program after these 14 or rather 13 lectures including qbd you will also go through our revision pro program this is a 20 hours two full days of instructor led classes here we will be doing again a lot of questions and again we will go through all the material in brief with you so that we can revise all that material with you again if you have studied it before you know exactly where your doubts will be and you can come back to us with those doubts as well but we will review the whole material again with you in these 20 hours right again recordings for this one will be available again we will provide you formula sheet and mock exam so if you only go for revision pro this is all that is available for you we will give you knowledge checks we will give you the you know essay questions from the previous exams study tips everything will be provided in the revision pro then see the key to passing the cf uh, cma exam in first go is use the right materials wiley is one of the best material provider and that's what we have partnered with so we use wiley study materials what you will get is a textbook very nicely structured way of laying down the material and wiley does the best job with that we will also give you the participant guide so all the slides we will be using that will be printed over to you handed over to you as a book and then we will also give you access to the question bank the test bank which has around 5500 plus questions you can keep on doing these questions in addition to our practice test assessments and mock exams and also one thing that you get is again that is the key usb of you know getting trained from kaplan you will get this 350 plus flash cards per part from us if you enroll yourself with kaplan So once you enroll yourself at Kaplan, this is only exclusively available with uh, Kaplan. I will show you how these flashcards look like, and trust me, this is a game changer again. All you have to do is create flashcards. They will give you some questions, and then if you flip it, you will get the answers for that. And that's a wonderful way of quickly revising a particular topic. Then these are the Wiley materials that we are going to provide, and here is the LMS, Kaplan's own LMS. this is our proprietary lms and what you see on this lms is something that i'm going to show you over here so this is how our lms looks like so i'm going to show you one of the cma programs so here if you look at it so if you go through this cma program so what you will see is that you will get our zoom link so understand all our lectures 
are blended lectures. What that means is you can either opt for face-to-face -face lecture or you can opt for an online lecture. So uh, you can choose any of the modes. Even if you choose face-to-face, -face, you can still attend online. Even if you choose online, you can still come and attend face-to-face. -face. Zoom link is there in this LMS for all the lectures. Four slides are also available. Also, obviously, we give you the hard copy of that. Then there is question and answer for preparation time. There is question and answer for revision time. All the lectures, as you could see out here, are all recorded. These recordings are available with you. And all our class notes are also available with you. So if you look at our class notes, the key USB of Kaplan, I will show you, is in the class notes itself. So here are all the slides. But the main part that all our six full-time CMA trainers do is they write their notes on this, on these slides. So on these slides, if you look at it, we write our notes. And this is actually a game changer because what it does is it gives you a summary of what you need to actually know. So you can go back home and read these notes again. And that is a quick way of revising it. And that is why I say every topic needs only half an hour, 45 minutes, because these notes, you can read it quickly and then practice questions. So if you look at it, these are my notes, and that's how we you know, teach you over here. So again, this gives you the basics, and then comes the slides. Some of the topics we have already covered, some of the topics we just highlight that this is the MCQ focus, this is the main focus of the exam. So we will keep on highlighting those areas for you. So that's why we feel that this is the game changer. If you go through just these notes properly, you will definitely be able to understand all the concepts very, very nicely. And then finally, after the class notes, you also have these tests. So each section, there will be a test. These links will be open for you. You can come here, give these tests after every topic. So these are the topic-wise tests over here available. So all these things are there on our LMS. And trust me, you will get the access of that before your first lecture even starts. And as I said, uh, we have classroom lectures and live online. So these are flexible study options. Even if you want to opt for live online, it's absolutely fine. But if you feel that I want to understand, I will be able to understand more in face-to-face, uh, -face, you are free to come and attend our lecture. Uh, you know, we have our offices in uh, DIFC. Uh, it's near the Financial Center Metro Station. It's accessible with Metro, and uh, you can come there anytime and attend the lectures, right? So this is the idea we have for classroom and live online. Then, how are we supporting you in your journey? So there is a dedicated student group on WhatsApp. We will constantly sending, send you motivational uh, messages. We will keep on motivating you. We will counsel you. We will give you career advices. We will have extra practice session. We will have regular quizzes. And you are always free to contact us for if you need any extra hours for doubt clearing. We are happy to help you on that. And then you have these discussion forums on uh, WhatsApp again. Uh, you can keep on posting your questions. And we will also keep on posting the question for the day. Quick quiz. Right? So that is what we will have for you. And obviously, as I've already told you, I will speak out, I will reiterate it again, that all our six CMA full-time trainers are available with you 24-7. All right? So please ask us if you have any doubts. We will be happy to answer all of them. Then, not only all of this. This is just about how to pass the exams, CMA part one, part two exam. But obviously, you need some employable skills as well. So... After clearing CMA part one, part two exam, you need some skills which you can go to your employer and say, hey, I have some skills as well. And these are employable skills. Now, we are offering as part of our CMA excellence program, two free full day trainings. So these are trainings on financial skills training. And then there is a complimentary leadership development training. Now, the cost of this training usually is more than $1,200. And this is absolutely free if you join uh, Kaplan for the CMA program. So in this financial skills training, you will learn how to build a financial model from scratch. You will learn 
how to basically do financial storytelling. Very, very important for a finance professional. You will learn about data analytics. You will also learn about the hot topic, basics on blockchains and crypto. That's in one single day, one full day of training. This is absolutely free. And then you will also get some leadership development training where you will learn about CV writing, personal branding, interview skills. So again, these are provided by our behavioral trainers, a very fantastic group of trainers who have been training worldwide. So here, these are the, this is the CMA excellence program. Again, all of these topics are actually skills which is required by a finance professional in today's era. So this is absolutely free for you. Then the next part is, what do you have to do? What is the cost in monetary terms? Now, the first thing you need to do is join IMA. And the fees for that is $245, usually, if you do not go through a platinum uh, prep provider. And that's what Kaplan is. Pay the CMA certification entrance fee of $250. So this, if you go for a self-study mode, then you file for exam registration form. Each part is $415 per part. What you get from IMA is all of these things. You get an acknowledgement form. They give you the authorization number, the testing window. They give you access to the CMA exam support package, which we will also give you. And then you can schedule your exam with the ProMetric Center and now the remote testing at least four weeks prior and then appear on the exam date. So all you need is an empty table. You need your passport in hand. You need a calculator and that's it. And then the idea here is you do not have to pay any of these fees if you join Kaplan. So there is a special Kaplan ME discount. And why? Because we are the platinum course providers for CMA. Let me tell you the fees. Here is the fees. So this is the initial fees in dollar terms. $910 for one part. If you want to give one exam, you have to pay $910. This is in total 3,342. This is what you have to pay to the IMA. But if you enroll with Kaplan, all you have to pay is 2,000 dirhams. So there is a discount on complete entrance fee. So you do not have to pay this $250 whatsoever at all. So no entrance fee. Exam fees is also almost, uh, there is a 30, 40% discount. All you have to end up paying is this 2000 dirhams for appearing one of the parts. So that is the IMA discount, which you will get exclusively if you go with Kaplan. Now, how much is the fees for prep program and revision program? Now, the prep program is 4,000. If you go with only prep program, this is usually 4,199. And if you go with both prep program and revision program, this is both for, by the way, face-to-face -face and online, it's 5,250. And both part one and part two, if you enroll together, you have to pay only 7,874. It includes everything. CMA Wiley study materials, online recorded class uh, videos, one-on-one -on -one lectures, in-class practice test, online mock exam. And it's, we also give you a KPME assurance. Now, if you attend all the lectures, what we are doing is we are also guaranteeing you that you will be able to pass the exam in first attempt. If you are not able to do that, and if you follow certain basic criteria, then we will, you are free to come back to the sessions free of cost. So that is KPME assurance. So we assure you that you will definitely clear the exam in first attempt. So that is why, because we are giving you this assurance, we will ensure that you clear the exam in the first attempt. So it's not only about how to do that, but we will absolutely ensure that you are able to clear the exam in first attempt. Now, understanding is that our first part or part one is starting on 5th of February. The batch starts on 5th of February and part two starts on 27th of February, 2022. Again, absolutely do not worry about the fact that you will definitely be able to clear or rather, you know, complete your prep sessions before time and even revision before time. Now, that was the fees that is original. But because you are attending this webinar and this is a special, uh, you know, discounts which are going on, prep plus revision pro 
plus Wiley study material right now is available at 3,937. If you do not want to go through the revision program, the prep plus Wiley study material is only 3,200. Now, because you are attending this webinar, we are giving you an additional discount of 5% on this amount, 5% on this 3,937, because you are attending this webinar. Then if you want to just purchase study material, this is the cost for that, 2,415 per part and 3,623 for both the parts. If you want to go with only revision pro with mock exam, it's 1,365. All right, everyone. So this brings an end to what I had to discuss about the CMA program. And what I will do now is, uh, I will just try to give you a small demo lecture on how we actually train. Although I've already shown it to you, we use our notes at a lot of times, but I would like to also show you how we actually train our candidates. So here is where we write our notes. So here is one of the slides I want to cover with you. So let me give you a background on this slide. This is by the way, in CMA part one, section B, which is planning, budgeting and forecasting. And this is specifically a part of planning. And uh, what we are discussing in planning is how does the company build strategic plans, plans which are there for long term. Now, with any strategic plan, what you have to do is you have to basically do uh, an analysis on the competitors. And then one of the tools of doing that, those analysis is Porter Five Forces, which drives the profitability. So I'm going to basically show you how we teach this particular slide. So please be with me for the next uh, 10 minutes. I will just take 10 minutes of your time on this one, but just try to uh, you know, be like a normal student. Don't think that you are uh, you know, uh, in a webinar. Think of yourself in a live session and let's learn this Porter five forces that drive profitability. Now, now, the first thing that you need to understand is what we are learning over here is this is basically an analysis done to understand the competition in the particular industry, right? So the first thing we just need to understand is there are five forces which drives a profitability of a particular industry. Now think of uh, auto industry. And let's say there are eight existing players in the auto industry. Now, what is what will be the factors which will drive the profitability? Let's learn that. The first of the factors is threat of new entrants. Threat of new entrants. Can new players come in the industry or not? Now for that, what we have to see is something called as barriers to entry. Now my question to you is, if new players, if new firms can enter easily. Will the profitability of this industry remain high or it will be low? Now, please treat yourself as students, everyone. So please let me know if you have answers. Please do reply on the chat box. If new players can enter easily, the profitability of this industry will be low. Why? Because there are no barriers to entry whatsoever at all. If the barriers to entry are high, what does barriers to entry mean? Understand high barriers to entry comes from few factors. Barriers to entry will be high when the first factor that you need to understand is when there is high capital requirements. So do you think in auto industry, there will be high capital requirements? Absolutely. If you want to set up a factory, there will be high capital requirements. That means in auto industry, there is high barriers to entry. That means new firms cannot enter easily. So hence in the auto industry, profitability will be high. The second way the barriers to entry can be high is when existing players have economies of scale, have economies of scale. What does economies of scale mean? Economies of scale basically means that this company is too huge 
that their average cost of manufacturing products is way too low. And that is when they achieve economies of scales. So understanding is the summary of this part is that if barriers to entry is high, barriers to entry is high, then profitability will be high for the existing players. And if the barriers to entry is low, then the profitability of this industry will be low. Clear everyone? So that is tone, threat of new entrants. The second force which drives the profitability of the industry is threat of new substitutes. Threat of new substitutes. So if you think about auto industry, are there any substitutes available? Yes, there are. Substitutes are buses, trains, any public transport. Now, if the tones are high, threat of new entrants or threat of new substitutes is high, then you know that the profitability will be high or low, everyone. Can you please respond? Profitability will be high or low? If the threat of new substitutes is there, if the threat of new substitutes is high, profitability of the existing players will be low because anytime I can go to the substitute, Makes sense, everyone? I can move from an auto, I will stop using my own car and I will use the public transport. So if the threat of new substitutes is high, then the profitability will be low. If tones is low, then the profitability will be high. Correct, everyone? So these are a couple of factors. There are three more factors. We discuss it in the same day. Right, so that was a little bit of demo that I wanted to give you. Again, everyone, trust me, these notes are more than enough. Even in the essay questions, if you write this much, you will get almost full marks. You do not have to write big essays, and that is a myth, by the way. And that is why people actually do not clear the exam because they write big essays. That's how much you have to write. And trust me, you will get maximum marks on this. All right, so I gave you the brief on essay type questions as well. Uh, that's fantastic. Now I will open the room for question and answer. So please let me know if you have any question and answers on uh, the CMA qualification. If you have any questions and answers on, you have questions on uh, the Kaplan solutions or any other question, please let us know. Feel free to ask any of your questions. Yes, Maria, thank you so much. Does the CMA qualification give an exemptions to for exemptions for ACCA? Uh, yes, uh, there are some exemptions, Maria. There are some exemptions. I'm not actually sure which ones, but there are some exemptions. Uh, when you have a CMA qualification, it will give you some exemptions for ACCA exam as well. Some ACCA papers. Yes. Please everyone, uh, let us know your questions. I'm sure you would have a lot of questions whether you should go with this qualification or not, which part one, part two, which part do you go for, or any other questions. Even our program advisors are over here. So if you have any questions for them, uh, please shoot it across. Feel free to ask any of your doubts. Is there any restriction for bachelor degree duration? Uh, not really, I think each bachelor degree is for three years, right? Uh, so that three years, yes, it will qualify. All you have to check is if it is, an, if it is from an accredited university or not. And that can be done on an you know, IMA website. So you can reach out to me or our program advisors. They will be able to assist you on with that. All right, thank you so much for your question, Adran. Uh, so Rahul asks, uh, you have a BCom, two years of work experience in accounts. Absolutely, Rahul, you are definitely eligible for the exam. You are not only eligible for the exam, but you are also eligible to get the CMS certification after you clear part one and part two. 
So everything is with you. You have uh, the educational requirements, you have the work experience as well. All right, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, please do ask other questions. We are still available. So Tina has a question. You would like to have a CMA qualification. I would like to get the prep and revision programs. Do you have to pay only AD3937 in total or that includes everything? So IMA fees is separate. And uh, this is the Kaplan fees, 3937. So IMA fees, which I told you, you are getting a special discount of 2000. Otherwise the IMA fees is 3342 but you just have to pay 2000 to them. On top of it, it's 3937 plus a 5% discount on it, Tina. Hope I answered your question, Tina. Uh, so I have, Mercy asks if the school is not accredited with IMA and we pass on both uh, examination, how can we get the certification? Now, the understanding is you will then have to do an independent uh, educational assessment. This, there are various institutions just like WES, uh, WES. They do that, uh, you know, in, uh, basically assessment on your qualifications. So, Just a second. All right. So here, uh, so Mercy, did I answer your question? So you can get an independent uh, assessment done and we will help you out with that. So do not worry about it. Okay, uh, Tina, my colleague, uh, Amanda responded to you on the chat. So, uh, and she will be in touch with you. You can definitely ask any fees related question to her. She'll be in touch with you tomorrow. But yeah, she responded. And if you have any other questions in relation to this, Amanda would be happy to take up that question as well. <clears throat> All right, uh, anyone, any other questions for us? We are glad that you are asking these questions. Fantastic. Thank you so much. The whole purpose of this webinar. All right. Anyone, any other question? Uh, Amanda, can you take up a question from Mr. Adnan? Hi, everyone. Good evening. Thank you for joining us today. So uh, as Adnan is asking, fee installment facilities for all students or only for UAE? Uh, within UAE, yes, we allow installment plans. However, if you're uh, from any other country outside, such as Bahrain or Oman or Qatar, we would need the full installment place. Thank you. That's as for audit policy. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much, Amanda. Uh, I hope uh, Adnan, your question was answered. All right, fantastic. All right, awesome. Uh, please let us know if there are any other questions. Else, uh, if you have any further questions, uh, uh, Amanda would be in touch with you tomorrow. And uh, you know you can ask any of your further doubts with her. Here's her number as well, if you please want to make a note of it.
and that's our email address. All right, so uh, no further questions. Uh, I would like to thank every one of you, Mr. Adnan, Ra Mr. Rahul, Mr. Danny, Maria, Morsi, Tina, everyone. Thank you so much for joining in today. And uh, I would uh, basically, you, you can expect, you can reach out to Amanda anytime for the further queries. And I'm really glad that you were able to join today. Thank you so much for taking out time from your busy schedule for this. And hope to see you in the session soon. All the best, everyone.